Okay, today we're continuing with our shell tutorials, and we're going to be working um, in the shell. We're going to do a pretty long one-liner. Uh, I do have to look at my notes for this. I don't have the whole thing memorized. Um, but you can always create an alias for this if it's something you want to do regularly. And what we're going to do is we're going to run a command that lists all the open files on your system. And all that sort of information is found inside your proc folder. So we're going to start off, we're going to say find, and we're going to say inside our proc folder, look in every subfolder of that for a folder called FD. Then we're going to say dash X type, oops, type F. And that's saying only look for files. If it's not a file, like if it's a directory or something like that, ignore it. Then we're going to print out the information we got. So we're going to print F, <clears throat> excuse me, and in quotations here, we're going to say percent sign L backslash N. This is saying, uh, basically this is this uh, percent L saying print the output from this command uh, and the backslash n is just the new line, meaning put it put it, each one on its own line. Now if we run that, we're not root right now. I'm a regular user, so I'm going to get a lot of permission denies, as you can see. The, a bunch of, bunch of permissions denied. So I'm going to clear the screen, and what I'm going to do is 2 greater than forward slash dev forward slash null. So make sure no spaces here. Uh, percent, or not 2, not percent, but 2 greater than means any error output. So if it's an error, like a permission denied or any type of error, instead of printing it to the screen, we're going to pipe that into dev null, which is like a wasteland where you just throw garbage. It, it basically makes it not exist anymore. Then we're going to pipe that. Well, let's run that. So a little bit better, but we get a lot of these deleted files. So let's go ahead and uh, pipe that into grep-v, and which means we're going to look for something and we're going to show everything that doesn't equal that. So inside quotations, we're going to say uh, deleted, uh, delete, deleted. It's weird when we get on a new line like that, but that says deleted inside parentheses. Uh, and then we're going to say dollar sign at the end. So it's only looking for the parentheses deleted at the end of the line in case for some reason that's in the name of a file. It doesn't skip it. It's only if it's at the end of the line. So we do that. We run this and look, we got all that. Now we can pipe that into sort dash u for unique. And there we go. We get a list of files that are open. Uh, we can also, if you don't care about things in the proc folder, for example, or your sys folder, uh, we can do something like this. We can say grep dash v lines again begin with proc, uh, forward slash proc. And I can kind of sloppy to do it in a separate command, but that's just how I'm going to do it right now. I can do forward slash opt, you know, just narrowing down my search for things that might be specific to me. Uh, so now that I have that, you can see all like, like these fonts are being used, probably by Chrome because I have Chrome open. And you notice that a lot of these things are going to be um, config files. They're constantly be read like by Chrome or by Cinnamon, a lot of Chrome. Chrome does a lot of stuff. So you can see a lot of these are Chrome this, Chrome that. Uh, and you can see Cinnamon bringing stuff up, cache stuff. But let's real quick, I'm going to split my screen here. Oops. And let's make that big again. Okay. And I am going to touch a file in my temp folder. I'll just call it one. So I just create an empty file and now I'll vim into it, temp one. And now if I do this and I grep through that, I should be able to find uh, that file. So let me run that same command again, but I'm going to grep for something that says temp one. And you'll see it doesn't come up. And you might wonder why. Well, certain programs like Vim uh, don't necessarily open the specific file. It creates a temporary file and then it saves that file. So I'm going to run that again. And you'll see right here we have temp dot, meaning it's a hidden file, one dot swap. So in this Vim uh, window here, I'm actually uh, editing that swap file. But when I save it, it basically copies this swap file over the original file. So that's why you don't see. Uh, temp one open. Uh, so keep that in mind when you're trying to figure stuff out. If you're trying to grep for something, think that it might be in a temporary file rather than the actual file. Anyway, it's kind of a long command. I will try to remember definitely with this one to uh, put a link to that in the description of this video. And as always, I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. 
as well as a link to my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. As always, I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.